Welcome back one and all to day five of our caravanly road trip across Georgia. Today our journey takes us through the Georgian military highway with lots of interesting stops along the way. We learn how to make hinkalis in Kazbegi and end the day in the peaceful village of Jokolo. Fresh off our one day break in Georgia's capital Tbilisi, our first stop was the Ananuri castle about 70 kilometers outside of Tbilisi. It was certainly a cold and rainy August day, but nevertheless, Annie was ready to load us with more information. Yeah, 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 quite cold, not a little. We are near Ananuri Fortress. It's really impressive, beautiful uh, 16th, 18th century architectural complex. Just follow me. Okay. <laughs> Even though the castle was closed for renovations, she called our attention to the carvings on the wall with lions representing the power of those who lived there and grape trees representing wine, aka the blood of Christ. The kind of tradition that in the fortresses where they had to live, where they had to fight, from where they had to fight, they were building churches. Nearby, we stopped to witness the phenomenon of the black and white Aragvi rivers whose colors refused to merge. The next stop was a quick one due to the cold. The Russia-Georgia Friendship Monument was erected in 1983 to celebrate the ongoing friendship between Soviet Georgia and Soviet Russia. On each side of the monument, you find significant characters from each of the country's rich history. I had the pleasure of doing this trip with Emily Lush, the writer and photographer behind wanderlush.org. Her blog hosts content from all around the world, but she has a soft spot for Cambodia, Vietnam, and the Caucasus region. Because we did this trip in August, I referenced her site to reactivate some of the memories. It is extremely thorough, so I recommend it to anyone looking for more content about Georgia or any other country around the world. The link to her blog is in the description below. As we continued along the Georgian military highway, we stopped to see the Travertine Mineral Springs. Due to a combination of carbonate minerals and hot springs that lie beneath the surface, the sedimentary rock formation on this hill is completely lined with vibrant colors. About 10 minutes before reaching Kazbegi, we took a little detour to the tiny village of Snow, where the works of one solitary man can be found. Merab Piranishili carves these huge slabs of stone with the face of notable figures from Georgia's history. As of 2020, there are about 12 sculptures of mostly famous Georgian poets. It definitely has some Easter Island vibes. Another detour that is worth your time is the stunning Dadiali Gorge. Apart from the views, we got to witness a set of snails moving as a family, unless they were placed there by our official jokester, the driver Bidzina. We finally reached Kazbegi, which I've had the opportunity of exploring on this channel already with Nikki. Over the summer, we swam in a natural mineral pool. If you want to watch that, just click on this link that has popped up on your screen and open a new tab up with it. And so it was finally time for another feast, courtesy of Caravanly. And during our lunch, we were treated to a Hinkali masterclass where the hilarious Verico showed us the ins, outs, and twists of the traditional meat-filled dumplings. She explained that the Hinkali is very much a family dish because all family members take part in its production. Verico obviously has some serious Hinkali making skills. She even surprised us with something we'd never seen before, the double Hinkali. And wouldn't you know it, our very own Melanie has some skills of her own. Not bad. <laughs> and she also had a traditional Irish toast up her sleeve. Let's listen in. It's short and sweet. May you be in heaven a full half hour before the devil knows you there. Oh. Come oh. oh. <laughs> on, after the Hinkali Fest, it was time to move on to where we would be spending the night. There were a few roadblocks along the way, and also a stretch stop in which Annie presented a rather unique counting method. <laughs> Our guest house was quite the treat from Caravanly and Bizina was able to take a load off after a long day of driving. Layla's guest house is located in Jokolo on the Pankisi Gorge a valley region close to the border with Chechnya. I immediately noticed the abundance of crops planted in the backyard. Seb was already investigating the area. What kind of crops do you see there? We got blackberries, we got tomatoes, we got corn. 
Is that beans of some sort? Yeah. I mean, tomatoes seem to be the uh, <laughs> the, the the big uh, the big money crop. Oh, oh, this is uh, carrots. We got carrots. Yeah. Planters here. Yeah, they are beans. It's the same ones over there as here. After a long day of exploring, it felt incredible to just kick back at such a peaceful spot. We're almost on the border with Chechnya, so this is certainly the closest I've ever been to Russia. And this guest house is just amazing. Very well designed, beautiful room, super clean. And she has this huge garden here in the back where she picks the vegetables and fruits and she's currently making our dinner with it. And tomorrow we will check out Pankisi Gorge. Layla's guest house is available on booking.com. You can stay there. So I've put the link in the description below. And the perfect end to that day was a mouth-watering home-cooked meal made by Layla and her family. Her family belongs to an ethnic group called the Kists. They have Chechen roots and form the majority of the area. The Kists have a long-standing history of hospitality, and thanks to Caravanli, we got to experience that firsthand at Layla's guest house. Happy camper? Happy, happy! <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, we were offered tea, and Layla and her mother put on a singular performance of a traditional funeral song. And there was still time for one last day with Caravanli. Click here if you want to follow along, and click here if you want to go back to day four. Either way, I'll see you over there in three, two, one.